It is a huge area, Jim. You're absolutely right. And that's why these pictures are so exciting to them, because these pictures are a solid lead that help them cut down that space. Because frankly, this looks like an airplane debris field. I have to prove whether it is or not, but it looks like the right thing. So when I talk about cutting down the space, what do we mean? What we mean is that when you're searching a big area like this, in this case, 621,000 square miles, you essentially impose a grid upon it. And not every square in that grid is equal. Some of them are given a higher value than others based on whether or not you think the plane would go down there because there's some evidence to support that. For example, if you thought from all of this satellite data and everything else that it ran out of fuel earlier and did not glide at all, you might push it way up here toward the northern end. What we have here is the opposite, though, a suggestion that maybe it either ran out of fuel later or it went into a 200-mile glide, which a plane like this can do, or something like that, that's giving them reason to push this zone down much, much, much further so that actually you're talking about having your primary search zone way out there. Now, bear in mind, we've shown the plane here big so you can see it, but in life, this plane would be a speck on this giant search area. So you've got to get something smaller than that big red space out there. A debris field like this, if it pays off, allows them to narrow that down to something much, much smaller, Jim, and then they can start reverse engineering based upon the currents as they know them to see where it is over maybe hundreds, maybe a thousand miles back to where the plane actually went down, Jim. So, Tom, one thing that stuck out to me about this latest satellite data is, is it talks about the biggest piece uh, visible in that latest satellite photo, about 75 feet long. That was also the biggest piece visible in the previous Chinese and Australian satellite photos. Is there any way to, to estimate, to get to make an intelligent guess as to whether that's the same piece and it's moved around in some sort of predictable way since those first photos were taken? There are ways to run the math on it, I suppose, but let me bring in a big picture of currents down in that area because you really do have to consider them in this circumstance. It, all those pictures, except for the very first Chinese pictures, which were quickly discounted, were quickly um, were taken in roughly the same area. And this is the area right here. That's the spot. And these are time-lapse images from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration showing currents in the area. And you can see this, Jim. They are a hodgepodge here. All sorts of things going on. There are a few strong currents cutting in certain ways. But the bottom line is, yes, you can do the math on that to figure out where it came from, but it's not easy.